I am super pumped to have an entire Arendelle 1723 system in for review for you guys. In this video, we'll be doing the unboxing of the 1723 THX towers, as well as the matching center channel. We'll take a look at their specs and I'll share with you my initial impressions as we get these unboxed here in just a moment. Now I'll have links to this entire system down in the description below, so be sure to check that out at the end of the video. Now before we get to the unboxing, I want to give a big thanks to Arendelle for being a platinum sponsor of this channel. Quality speakers and subwoofers are essential to providing an immersive home theater experience. Arendelle Sound offers a wide range of high performance audio gear to elevate your home theater and two channel system. The 1961 series offers affordability and excellence without compromising on build quality or performance. For the ultimate symphonic nirvana, don't miss their flagship 1723 series. And with a risk-free 60 day audition period, free shipping and a 10 year warranty, you've got nothing to lose. Check out arendellesound.com to take your home theater to the next level. All right guys, enough talking, let's get to some unboxing. We'll go ahead and unbox the center channel first. I've been really excited to get this in for review. I've heard a lot of great things about Arendelle, about their products. So the first thing you'll notice is you've got some of the normal warranty information as well as a little pamphlet. And one thing I already like about Arendelle that I see here is that they produce a high quality brochure. So if you look through this, you're gonna find all the details, specs on each one of the 1723 uh, models, but it's just done very, very well. And as a graphic designer myself, I can definitely appreciate that. We got nice packaging already. We got the hard corners there to protect it during shipping. And then we've got this massive foam pieces right here. Now, in addition to the thick foam that protects the speaker, you'll also find the speaker is wrapped in a cloth cover. I'll go ahead and get this unboxed, lay it out on the table, and we'll take a look at the specs. All right, so I went ahead and placed the speaker on top of the included pads just to protect it. Wanted to show you the cloth here. We'll spin this around. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, guys. Check this out, man. So we've got dual eight inch drivers here. We've got a one inch soft dome tweeter. Really nice waveguide here. Arendelle logo right there. I like these beveled edges on the front. Just a really beautiful finish. In this uh, series, we've got three different finishes. This is the satin black. They also come in a satin white, a gloss black, and also a gloss white. Let's go ahead and spin it around and take a look at the back. Man, look at those binding posts. Definitely like this aluminum machinery here. So that's something that you don't really see in a lot of speakers. A lot of times brands will kind of, you know, make it cheap on the back because you never see it. But I like that they've taken the time to really just add some really nice touches to this. And take one of these off. So this is for dual binding posts. So you can actually buy amp or buy wire. And even these are really thick. Normally these are just really, really thin. So it seems like they're using really nice components on these. And of course we've got inserts for uh, banana plugs, which I'm a big fan of. And here you can see we got two ports. So right now they're plugged. So you should be able to run this as sealed or ported by either leaving in the plugs or removing them like that. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the specs of the Arendelle 1723 THX center channel speaker. All right, now it's time to unbox the big boys. These are the 1723 towers. And guys, these are pretty heavy. They're 120 pounds, I believe. So let's get this unboxed here. So inside you'll see the same type of packaging. I mean, we've got massive thick foam, even thicker foam for the towers, which is really great because the last thing you want to do is order a pair of speakers and then arrive with shipping damage. That's always frustrating. More thick cardboard to protect the sides. 
in the corners. Now, when you've got big, heavy speakers like this, what I like to do is open up one side and then we're just gonna flip the box over like this. This makes it easier to handle if, you, if it's only you and you don't have anybody helping you. Slide it a little further back. And now we just support it, roll the box over, and take the box right off the top. So with the towers, you're gonna have some hardware for the feet. These are the spikes. We'll get those opened up and looked at in just a moment. Another brochure, lay that off to the side. So we'll go ahead and remove the feet from the bottom. Like that. I'm gonna go ahead and undo the wrap at the bottom. We'll just kind of fan it out here. Like that. And that way when we lift it up, it's right on the bottom. I'll tell you what, before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and take off this speaker grill cover. Lay the speaker grill there. And then we just lift up just like that. Now we do have some white gloves, which is actually a good idea because I noticed with the center channel, I got some fingerprints on it. So we're gonna put on the gloves. Hey FOMO, what do you think? If you're not familiar with Stop the FOMO, great dude. We've had him at M-Wave the past two years. And he's always wearing the gloves. All right, here we go. Oh yeah. All right, so we've got four eight inch drivers here. We've got one up here. That's gonna be the mid range, one inch tweeter again with this large waveguide. And then three eight inch drivers at the bottom. Spin this around. So pretty much identical to what we saw on the center channel, same styling same uh, connections here and then down here we've actually got three ports depending on how many ports you use whether you use it as sealed or vented or how many that's going to change the port tuning and the frequency response of this cabinet but man i love the finish on these even these right here are slightly rounded corners it's not like a real hard edge but having that corner baffle right there just really gives it some nice stylizing man i'm excited about these now another thing too these are heavy so these are made out of not mdf but hdf so a lot of speaker manufacturers will use mdf it's really good for building cabinets but hdf is high density fiberboard is what they call it and so it's just a lot denser material so it will help with any resonances inside the cabinet. So I can't wait to get this set up, cranked up in this theater room and let you guys know what I think about how they sound. Now, the other thing to look at is the speaker grill. Again, this is another area that a lot of brands just provide a real inexpensive speaker grill. But here you can see these are actually made out of metal. So this is probably like aluminum. It's lightweight, but it's very durable, very rigid. And these are magnetic. So one thing I can already see is when you place it on there, there is the potential of not aligning it straight. So you'll just kind of have to eyeball that and get it positioned exactly where you want it. They don't like lock into place. But other than that, I love how they're rounded because when the woofers are, you know, they've got high excursion, they won't hit this. But again, just a super nice finish. Definitely love what I'm seeing aesthetically. So now let's go ahead and install the included spikes. Go ahead and get these out here. Again, just really nice packaging. So we've got the rubber feet in case you have like hardwood floors. These are going to be the bars that go across the bottom of the feet. Nice little padding to protect the speaker. And then all of our screws as well as our washers. We even have a little Allen wrench down here. So we'll go ahead and get this assembled, get it upright and see what it looks like.
I can't wait to get this entire 1723 series set up here in the theater room, run it through its paces with movies as well as music. As I mentioned earlier, Arendelle is also sending me the 1723 subwoofers. There's two of those as well as the matching surrounds. Now I have all the links down in the description below, so be sure to check those out and look forward to some future videos here on the 1723 series. Well, as always, hope you have an incredible week. God bless, and I'll catch you in the next video.